Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with a special tutorial for you today. I'm happy to say that today's review and tutorial is brought to you by Mobarize. Yep, it's finally happened. I've been offered my first sponsorship. Full disclosure, I was offered a free upgrade to Mobarize 5 in exchange for my opinion on this software. But don't worry, I'll be as honest as I usually am and I'll try to... Um, you know, as I try it out, I'll give you the pros and the cons. So here we go. First things first, some of the bad stuff. Uh, the first thing that I realized is that, that the Delta Pi code editor that I usually use, uh, the free code editor that I found online, will no longer work with Mobarize 5. So if you really depend on Delta Pi code editor or you don't have any other alternative, I would suggest not upgrading to Mobarize 5 until you can save up for the code editor that comes with Mobarize that you'd have to buy. Um, if you do upgrade to Mobarize 5, I found out the hard way that if you've been using Delta Pi, it will not port those over. So you'll lose anything you've done with Delta Pi. So what I ended up having to do was basically since it was hand coded, I was able to save some of the hand codes then use the code editor from Mobirize and actually, um, you know, rewrite it using the code editor. One more thing is that if you do use their code editor, the good thing is that their code editor does include Emmet. So that's a positive thing. So uh, the first thing I want to show you is the extensions that I've, I'm going to be using that I would suggest you get as soon as you get Mobirize 5. Uh, the first extension is you want to make sure that you get this Mobarize 4 extension because anything that you've created on Mobarize 4 uses the old engine. And so you want to make sure that you bring this over so that it will upgrade your Mobarize 4 sites to Mobarize, to be edited and to be uploaded using Mobarize 5. Okay. Um, again, here's the code editor that um, I'm going to be using. Uh, in my future tutorials. You won't even need the Delta Pi social media or SEO uh, situation because um, it comes automatically now. So like if I click on this area right here, now you have this entire area that comes along with your Mobarize 5 upgrade. That's a nice addition. So not only do you have the common information here where you can export and you're excited and get your favicon and everything, but you have your optimization, uh, which will automatically resize your images for you. You have SEO here. You have the cookie alert alerts, uh, a little pop-up window that'll come down if you want to enable that. Um, and even your global HTML inserts right here. So uh, basically you have just about everything you're going to need in order to uh, work on your mobilized sites. So, that's just a little introduction into Mobarize 5. I will be creating a playlist called Mobarize 5. And the first thing we're going to do is create a site today. And then in the future videos, we're going to do some specific things. So um, let's just go ahead and create a site. Let's do a, a new test site. And so we have all these different themes here that can, you know, the regular Mobarize 5 themes, of course, Mobarize 4 themes, or the accelerated mobile um, theme. Um, we're going to go to more themes here, and we're just going to pick out any one of these themes. These are really nice themes. I really like them. You can, um, of course, they're completely customizable. Um, today, we're going to create, uh, let's, let's imagine we're going to create a creative site here. Let's let's try that one. So we're just going to hit our plus symbol here. It's going to install it. And here's our creative uh, M4. So let's call it um, test site. Mobilize five. We're going to use creative four here. Okay, and so this is 
our creative agency situation here. Look, it has a little bit of uh, scroll animations. This is one of the reasons I like to use Mobirize. Um, of course, I can also hand code all of this using Bootstrap, but um, basically using Mobirize, you can have everything kind of give you a head start and then you can go ahead and customize it to however you want it to look. So that's one of the wonderful things. Uh, here at the top, you can see what it's gonna look like on tablet view, what it's gonna look like if you have, what is this? Well, this was a side tablet view. This is uh, the other tablet view, portrait size. You can see what it's gonna look like on mobile. So it's, it's, it's pretty nice. Here's your preview. Um, let's see here, what else do we have? This is a nice addition right here in a corner. Uh, instead of guessing or actually something that would happen to me on Mobilize 4 a lot of times is that I would end up editing the wrong site, especially if I play if I pressed duplicate site, uh, I would end up doing the wrong page or something like that. So it's nice to see that which page you're actually working on right up here. That's a nice little addition. We're gonna work on our code editor in the future, but here's our code editor. It works really nicely. Um, I love their code editor for one thing. Uh, you're allowed to do your CSS instead of having to use JSON. Um, it's actually uh, looks like and feels like and acts just like CSS. And so it works out. Um, and then of course, like I said before, I can use Emmet. So like, for example, I can say P times eight lorem and it gives me eight lorem uh paragraphs so that works out pretty well also and so we can we can really work on our sites uh very quickly for example if i don't have this many people in my crew instead of six i want only three and there you go you have three of course our editing is really simple here. So these are all things that are very you're very familiar with if you already use Mobilize 4. If you don't use Mobilize 4 or you've never used Mobilize before, let me know in the comments and I will be more than happy to do a from scratch Mobilize tutorial. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and move forward on uh, adding, you know, all kinds of uh, customizations to your site. Uh, for now, this is Roberto Matthews signing out, and uh, we're going to work on things in the future, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to create a playlist that will include all kinds of different things, nice little fun things that we're going to do with our mobilized sites. Have a wonderful day.